It's important to know what your species are and their development stage is in order to have a good handle on what your control options are. And you need a, a tool like this to do that. You need a, a sweep net. Uh, this is a heavy duty sailcloth method, much more durable than say like a butterfly net, which is made out of fine mesh. It has a sturdy handle on it so you can sweep. Uh, you're not gonna beat the brush with it, but you wanna be able to sweep through the vegetation with this in order to catch the grasshoppers as they jump off. The uh, procedure with this it generally is to catch at least 25 to 30 grasshoppers to give you an idea of what's there. Uh, in the areas with high densities, you're gonna catch a lot more. And we generally uh, do 50 low-slow sweeps. Low-slow, I mean you're walking at a, a slow pace and you swing the net through the vegetation uh, down just scuffing the earth as you go and you make an arc from uh, whatever side you start on completely level with the ground to the other side and then reverse the net and just do that 50 times as you walk forward. When the grasshoppers are nymphs a lot of times they'll be right close to the ground and you need to sweep through the grass in order to get to them. Then you pick up your speed, walk at a fast pace and you swing the net on a 180 degree arc just above the top of the vegetation level and you'll pick up any adult grasshoppers that are good flyers and that way you'll get a complete picture of the grasshoppers that are in that area. And this is important because then you can determine are these important pests and what kind of uh, control methods that you can use against them and you can also determine their age which is very important because our best control method currently utilizes insect growth regulator chemical that only is effective on the nymphs. It affects their development of their chitin, which is important in their exoskeleton. This product is relatively non-toxic and also has a low impact on our non-target insects. If you uh, have determined that you have high densities of grasshoppers, you can contact the USDA APHIS PPQ, Plant Protection and Quarantine, or your local weed and pest uh, county office uh, for assistance. Uh, these folks are professionals and uh, they will come and assist you in determining your grasshopper population densities and the extent of the infestation. And if it's early enough in the season, uh, they can probably even assist in organizing a control program for you.